I'm looking for a spot to fish guys I'll generally motor around for a while and see what's in the area I don't really have any landmarks I do preference the same spot if I do catch a fish there but generally I'll follow the bait, bait around and the tailor around so I'll just motor around so we picked up something there of a bait bore and as you can see those arcs around it they're bigger fish hitting the bait ball one on the bottom there he's probably a mile away so I just motor around for a bit so yeah, that was quite a small bait ball so I may, may come back to this spot we'll see I'm looking for more of those mass bait balls and when you find those mass bait balls generally opens up a feeding frenzy for all the fish and everything will start going on the chomp. I would love some underwater footage of what goes on when the tail of schools come around. I think it's pretty hard footage to get. It'd be pretty interesting I reckon. Ooh, well, back to the sound there we have another bait call there. I want to see. As you can see there's quite big arcs there. So they're quite large fish and there's quite a big school there. And up higher you can see those arcs. Big fish up there too. So this is really quite interesting here. I like to put a bit of scent on my lures when I'm fishing. I wasn't happy with this one originally but I like the purpose of the spray on. So over the time I've emptied that out and I've just been adding tuna oil to it. It's turned into a lovely smelly blend. I think the main reason for this scent is just to cover up our smell really. I don't think fish like the smell of us too much. Anyway, we just spray it on, that's why I like this stuff, nice and lazy. Bit of tuna oil, bit of prawn scent in there as well. Yeah. Just easy to apply. Don't have to get your hands on it at all. Alright, swap over to the GoPro now and we'll see if we can catch a couple. G'day guys, thought I'd run you through a bit of tackle talk. Uh, what gear I've been using and yeah, what, what's up lures, etc. And when you're fishing these bait schools, you want to like make your lure to make a lot of noise. So you're either using big paddle tails, had a bit of experience on them, dead man, paddle tail, five inch smelts, and also with them Dimitri, big paddle tail on them, and they make a lot of noise also. But also the vibes, that one's gone into retirement caught the last two fish. It's actually a tailor after the dew fish which um, destroyed it. So he's gone into retirement. They caught a lot of fish on that one. Um, yeah and that's Rod which caught the last two fish. It's got a fairly stiff base on it. Nice and light. Seven foot. Uh, three six kilo rod. And pretty good. 10 pound braid, 10 pound mono, but I am going to switch the 12 pound from the road carbon for a bit more chance. Get those real big fish. And yeah, that's about it, guys. You want your lures to make a lot of noise wearing it around the bait stools. And yeah, jerk shads and stuff like that generally not as good. Um, you'll get a lot of tailor on there. You really want to get down under them and get a big fish. Put a on there. Alright, guys. On the water, 
for the next adventure. Catch you.